Alright, so we're back, and hopefully my audio recorded this time, because last time my narration audio did not record. I found out the... Now, since this ain't a blind play, because I pretty much played through the whole entire level. So it won't be as interesting, I don't think. But hopefully we can get through it nice and quickly this time, now. Jeez, he wasn't alive last time. Shit, they weren't alive. They were dead last time. Now Reuben again. Oh shit, there he is. Damn it. Fuck. What do we have here? Shit, we can only run so far away. Fuck, we're like trapped in here with him. Alright, good. God damn it. Amazing how shit happens different every time. Kind of neat, but kind of obnoxious at the same time. Alright, so I gotta get this out of the way before I accidentally blow myself up. Yeah, last time they were just sitting there dead. somewhere. There it is. <coughs> Wonderful. We'll pick our axe back up. Yeah, we don't need any of them. Alright, now we gotta do these brain experiments in order to unlock that main door we saw Leslie going through with the dock. This changes too. The consent region of the neocortex. Subject. All right. Yeah, that changed last time. I just sat in motion. Is this what did you call your inner sanctum? A research lab of your own. I am most impressed. Why are you back? I didn't give you permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance, but that mind of yours, that's all that matters. Nah, that's no, I can move on. Is that Ruvik with him? A little Ruvik, just as much an asshole as he is young. Oh shit. Oh, that's right, we got an axe. Take that brain goo off your hands. Alright, let's go. Now, as you can see, the red liquid fuels and unlocks the doors. That's what we're doing here, unlocking all these doors. We'll save that there for the second trip back. Because we will have to come back here.
all that was in here. Oh, we don't need that. Duck, duck, duck. Where the hell was that thing at? There it is. Oh, there was two brain goos there. Some more shotgun shells. Alright. Now, Ruvik, like you said, when he goes into that black and white mood, and Ruvik's after us, that'll basically happen throughout this whole entire level, and really all you gotta do is just avoid him for a while, and eventually he goes away. But here's what we're gonna have to come back here for. All right, two worlds separated by a jagged chasm. Above, faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. Below, helpless victims losing everything. And I'll explain that later. We're looking for two safe dials. We'll find them upstairs. Nice grenade just laying around in this nice wealthy home. All right, I'm going to do a quick save, and then we can go upstairs. All right, here we go. We got Ruvik after us again. Where the hell is he going to come from? There he is. Just basically want to avoid him. Rather obnoxious gameplay element. Just go away. Oh shit. Alright. Okay, alright. Let's go in the main room here. Come on, ask, ask me how I noticed this one up here. But we got the first safe dial here. This is the lower safe dial. And as you can see, the picture's torn in half, and we have two bodies on the lower half. So the bottom safe combination will be two. That's all that was in here. Yeah, it looks like that was all that was in here. Alright. Now we go off through the left door into a library. No, we got these two assholes in here. Oh, they're not in here this time. Shit. That's where the two people were last time that surprised us in the other room that was different. Okay. Let's go over here and take care of this bomb real quick before I bother doing any exploring. Oh, ha, ha, just missed that one. Almost missed it. Alright, we got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, we, have, we need shotgun shells? We don't... Just enough. Now we're full, so we definitely need to start using this. Alright, so we don't need any of them. Ladder last, that's where we find the other safe dial. Alright, let's head up the steps.
And we get a nice axe. Wonderful. Alright, here's our upper safe dial. And as you can see, there is 11. I've already counted the last one. 11 kind of executioners looking on. I can't remember if there was something else up here of value. Kind of feel like there was. I swear there was something else up here. No, uh, maybe it's not now since it's reset. Okay, which way are we going? Yeah, last time those two guys were feeding on that body. There's another axe for us, nice. It'll definitely come in handy. Ruvik's room note. I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked with moonlight. Eyes, dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favorite red dress like a crimson sunset, like a streak of blood in the waning light. Of course, you couldn't be dead. down the hallway. Got some more matches. One of these crazy first aid kits that make us trip balls. And yeah, I think we got some brain goo over here. And we had a new friend come in behind us. Alright, now I can run back and get that axe. Awful lot of weapons and hatchets and things lying around this house. Seems like it was creepy long before anything creepy started happening. Yeah, see, so, you now I know the bombs here. Okay. And here we got some brain goo in the toilet, and we got map number map number 16. Now we're gonna go back and save because this next part's a bit uh, tricky. So give me a second. Well, all right, I had another Aruvik attack on my way back up here. I had to get cleaned up before my doctor's appointment. Hopefully, we can get this beat before I gotta go. But this next part was kind of tricky the first time. We'll see here. No, I kept on shooting the rope thinking that was the answer, but it's this but it's that red thing up there that does it. Fortunately you won't get to see me mashed up by and I know you guys wanted to see me get mashed up, but Oh well. And we got another little statue over here. Don't need to waste any ammo on that. Oh, just as empty as it was the first playthrough. More health. I upgraded the health. We still got that one down there in the other room, though. Now, in here is just another brain experiment. I saved this for last on my last playthrough, but it doesn't really do lead to anything much other than here, so we can do it now. For this playthrough... Yep, again, we got three of them to do. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. This one's kind of complicated, at least it was the last time I did it. Subject number 12, test 71B, electrode placement A2, stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation, the fear center of the brain. Subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily.
This is a lot easier this time. Last time I just kept on spraying blood in my face. Father and mother. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Welcome to an early grave. <whistles> Sounds like someone's talking a loogie. Still say Brain Goo is a better name than Green Gel. We got an audio tape. There's our audio tape. Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream, but they die much too quickly. Scream and makes them feel like a man. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, consent. Trust, envy. Three of these are pivotal. But which will open the way? Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Motherfuckers can take a shotgun blast to a face, but a stick match does them in every time. Can you believe that? Oh, I want that. Pick up the axe on the way out. There we go. And here we are back at the top of the steps. Alright. Let's go down and save our game and go finish our safe combination. That'll allow us the last brain experiment which will open up the door. Just one more to go. Well alright, we're back up to I think being fully operational after completing all our goals from our little break. And now we can finally start putting out some new clips. So hope you and guys enjoyed being able to go back to watching the evil within vids. So hit that like button and subscribe. This is Mindless Bow. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again.